David Giordano of Dartmouth, third place in the 1500, big PR. How are you feeling right now? I feel so good. I guess I PR'd seven seconds over the weekend. Um, I've done so poorly here the past two years, dropped events, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, I'm, can't say I'm shocked because I believe in myself and we've been doing horrible up and pace workouts, so I'm just really, really happy with how today ended up and can't say that I didn't try to go for it. How soon are you getting on a plane to go to country? It's 3.54, my flight's at 6.30, so as soon as I leave. How are you going? Are you going to Thailand also? Yeah, two days of integration and I'm going to Thailand. I've, it's been a long eight years and I love to run and I'm not leaving the sport entirely, but I think if I tried to push my season another month, I'd probably self-destruct a little bit. I'm feeling good and healthy and going to take a break, reevaluate re my relationship with the sport, and I think I'll fall back in love with it eventually, but right now I'm pretty happy with ending on this note. And, it's been an amazing four yeah. years at Dartmouth. I mean, this is basically a dream scenario. You know, you ran the best race in your life, and the last race in your career. Could you have scripted it any better? Uh, no, I'm not going to get greedy and say that I can. It was absolutely incredible. I mean, Marta and everyone else in the race. They're, I mean, it's just kind of strange how everyone kind of becomes friends. I don't know how if it's like that with other sports, but I really have so much respect for everyone here, and we're just tough competitors. What were you, uh, what was your mindset, I guess, going into the race strategy? Uh, yeah, so I, again, didn't want to lead, but no, no one wants to, and I don't really, I'm pretty tall, so I was like, I'll get after it. We went through a 69, so I think each lap was about two seconds faster each time. So. What happened at Lost 100? Because, uh, you know, there's obviously a close race for first up front, but you ran down uh, Shannon for third, so you walk me through that. Yeah, so, I mean, the past two regional races, I've kind of swung wide and had a little bit left in the end, so it's just feet on the ground, arms pumping. I wanted to get as close, as high as possible, and I was... I saw a gap behind us to fifth, so I was like, you know what? Even if you kind of blow up in the last couple steps, you're at least going to get fourth. Have you changed the training to focus more on the 15 this year, or has it just been the same sort of training? Yeah, a little less mileage, um, a lot more speed work. Um, just, I've been really healthy. I've been so lucky. I haven't been injured in four years, so nothing super different. What, what are you most looking forward to with Thailand? Uh, I'm going to be cheesy and say some pagodas and some elephants and some time on the beach, you know? <laughs> I, think I, I think I earned that one. You definitely did. <laughs> Thank Congratulations. You.